Our first story comes from a TikTok account called Liquor Snurf, and it drops us into the center of a classic and beloved event, only this time with a crazy twist. A woman has apparently popped into Costco and left her dog in the hot car, prompting these passers-by to confront her as she returns. This confrontation became a huge internet battle over who was really in the wrong here as more information came out, and I'll tell you why in just a second, but first, this is the source of the drama. I know, He's gone dog. now. He's know, been gone no for a while. Here. It's not okay. I, we literally just walked in and out. I know, but yeah. it's a dog and it's hot. We've been standing no, I here. I have the keys. I'm about I to let her out. What do you think I came out to okay, get? It's but my it's, dog. But you understand that at this point, the dog's you know been hot in here is for in so that long. Car? Your dog is... It's way too hot to leave. You left your dog in a f***ing car to go into Costco. I love that you guys are doing that. So you left your dog in a car so we called the cops why don't you get in the okay. car and take They're care of your dog and instead of talking to us can you stop recording me no, how about you get in your car take care of your what? animal what? it has no choice stop talking to us take care of your dog take care Somebody of your dog you guys stop away. talking to no. us this is harassment I'll can we can we take can harassment. we take your dog can we have your dog we no you cannot have my we want it we'd like to take your dog you are not stealing my I'm getting what? my boyfriend out here right yeah. now, and he will not be happy. Okay. We're gonna have the dog taken. The no, you're are not. Away. You need to get the out here. They're trying to take Dixie. No, tell him we called There's the cops. There's these on two the strangers. Your dog is about to pass car. out, woman. She's she about to pass out. She's not about to pass out. She's fine. It's a hundred. Your dog now. is about to pass out. Open okay, the these door. Are yelling at me, and they've already called the cops. You need to get the out here. We need to get this group of people. There's other people that have seen this, not just you. Okay, well, the your car's dog. unlocked. You could have let her out. If you we, it's not it. our responsibility. We tried to let her out. Okay, we were going to well, take yeah, her and make her safe. She doesn't want to talk to you. You're stressing because her it's out. Crazy, my dog has honey. anxiety. Please let us you, take your dog. I'm tr no, you are not taking my dog. Are you insane? Then you, you don't take care of your, care dog. of your dog. Please let us take your dog. You are not taking my dog, bitch. Get away from me. Well, everyone's going to know. No, I'm shaking. Yeah, you everyone. Good. Okay. Uh, good. Everyone is going to here. know. Get the plate. Yeah, we already, we already got plate, it. Plate, LOL. Oh, you poor. Uh, Vancouver, Washington. Can we give him some water? Nope. Come on. The cops have the tag number. They'll be here in a few minutes. We're going to wait. We're going to just go ahead and wait. Now, while the initial video garnered quite a bit of outrage, as this topic often does, right, other users pointed out that the window was cracked and the dog seemed fine when it got out, with a few even noticing that Camas, Washington, where this video took place, is not a particularly hot climate, with days averaging in the high 60s to low 80s in August. Our main character, however, in their profile bio says that this particular day was 86 degrees, which could, to be fair, make a car quite hot over a long enough period. But here's where things get really interesting, because the woman who left her dog in the hot car, her name is Anea, is also active on social media, and she found this video and took to the comments to claim she was only gone for about 45 seconds. She even took to her Facebook page to write a PSA about it, where she claims that she and her boyfriend were there to pick up an Instacart order. And her boyfriend had gone inside with the keys until it got hot enough in the car that she went to go retrieve the keys from her boyfriend in the store. She says again that she was gone less than a minute before returning, and get this, she claims that our main characters watched her leave her car and knew full well she hadn't been gone for the 20-something minutes that they claim. After the video ends, she says, she called police to report this couple for a break-in and took a picture of their license plate, which apparently prompted them to drive off. Apparently, as they left, they told Araya that the dog was cute and they wanted it. So who do you believe? Is Araya just playing defense because she was caught red-handed? Or were the motives of our main characters more sinister than we first believed? Let me know what you think. Hey. It's not right to laugh in know. a person's face after their health has been destroyed by a weirdo creep on a shitty half-ass painted school bus Adrian, for years. You need some help right I'm, now. You shouldn't I'm be driving. Not, I don't have time. I've got an appointment. You should not be driving. I had an appointment and I can drive. Because I'm the best goddamn robot in the tri state area. <laughs> I could not in 
enjoy my property at all. Are you okay? I gotta take the dog to the dog park. Cause I can't even walk the streets of this shitty neighborhood. Cause a shithead like him. Okay. Do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? The owner of a landscaping business, prestigiously named Henry G. Benson IV, went viral at the end of last year for a conflict he recorded with some of the tenants who live next to a property called the Hilton Mobile Village in Browns Mills, New Jersey that he was working on. They appeared to be furious about the grass clippings our main character was leaving around their property as he mowed the lawn. They demanded he clean their property, and he pulled out his phone to record in a video that would eventually be featured on A&E's Neighborhood Wars and even Fox. Initially, management of the property had backed him up on this and told the neighbors to chill, but after seeing the video air on network television, they changed their tune, and just a couple of days ago sent a property manager to issue him a lawyer-signed trespass from the entire complex. Oh. Um, we are actually issuing you a no trespass order. And what's that for? This is for the video recording. I see you're recording. Yeah, me. it's a it's, it's okay. a one way state consent. I see yeah, you recorded recording me as well. Too. That's why I started this exactly. Yeah, Except fine. the difference is I let you know I was recording. Oh no, I was going to tell you. It's so okay. Well it's up. okay. I already saw it. Okay. I'm sorry. So, what's that for, by the way? This is a no trespass. Mm -hmm. um, it, you should have received this via um, mail already. I don't. I doubt you guys have my address. There's is no way you guys correct? have my address. That's not my address. Okay, well, it's apparently where your business was. Um, Interesting. What's your name? Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? My name is Mary Jane. Mary How Jane? Are you? Oh, and, uh, do you go by Henry or. It doesn't Henry? matter. It doesn't okay. matter. No, it's, it's right by yeah. what it says in there. Okay. My legal so, name, Henry. And please do not be posting this. I'll, 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 do I'll do whatever I want to do. I'll do whatever I want to do. That's okay, but I'm asking you as a human being, not As a human it. being, I'm yeah. telling you, you're taking money out of my pockets right now for no reason. I, I don't so, own the company. That's sorry. okay. You don't have to own the company, ma'am. Who owns the company? It's, it's Hilltop Mobile Village. Absolutely. Awesome. So, so is this for me? This is for you. And this, are you, are you Lori? I, I am not a lawyer. So I, I, I didn't ask if you were a lawyer. I said, are you Lori? And that Can you read? Lawyer. Can you read? Can you it's read? Esquire, sir. Okay, so cool. So you can have this person reach out to me. Okay, ma'am? She did. That's her letter. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. I, this, this is, this proper, is you. This is you. Proper... Please, please don't get that close to me. I'm not close You can take, to you can take please, two steps back, ma'am. You don't need to, you don't need to reach. Your, um, you don't need to reach. You know, all this already went viral, right? Obviously. Oh, I did. And please do not be posting anything on Fox. Oh, don't worry. I'm allowed to do whatever I want to do. Don't worry. Fox is going to love this. Day, you have a great day too, Mary Jane. That's that's like the last name that you like resemble with. <laughs> A mysterious video has been circulating of a very ridiculous elderly woman in a purple shirt, who, after feeling she was cut off by our main character in traffic, chased her to the parking lot and came up to her car to aggressively confront her. You're about to see what I mean. The woman's actions during the confrontation were so audacious that numerous other people in the parking lot, none of whom knew OP, felt compelled to get involved. You know what? You just opened my bitch. Get the Away from me, oh. Is, is you about to talk to your mom, bitch? Move the from my car. Do you not talk to my hey. mother car. Hey. Move the out of my way. Bitch, don't open my I don't give a what you got going on. Well, Get the away from you me. me. Don't off. touch my mother car. Go to your mother car. I'm not playing with you, ho. Don't touch your mother vehicle. What is wrong with you, bitch? You cut me off. That's what's wrong with me. Back my face now. I'm not in your face. Go back to your car. Now. I don't have to. Go back to your car. Don't open up my you mouth. Ca ca I don't off. care. Yeah, Go that's you. Your You're on your I phone. I don't give a Bye. Touch Bye. my mother car again. You'll get your ass whooped. Lady, get by. Go on about your business. Don't touch my car. Why are you harassing her? Right. Thank you. Why are she you harassing her? Thank you. She just touched my car. You are, so keep it moving. You're, you're alive, right? 
keep it moving. She has a whole time. Now, in the right. She just came and opened right. my door. She just opened my you door. Right. Don't, Don't touch, touch my shit, though. Don't touch it. You're harassing her. Don't touch my car. Stop touching my car. Stop touching my car. Why did you come opening my door? Why? To let you know. I don't care. You don't have to touch my shit. You don't have the right to open up my car door. I do. It's what I she just witnessed the whole damn thing. You just came and opened up my door and you just hit my car. I didn't hit your car. I touched your car because I felt faint. Did you just see that? I literally okay, the police finna get called. You just touched my, you just opened my door with my child in the car. You just hit my car. Yeah, now I'm finna call the police. Her. Yeah, but you, you being disrespectful and the baby got to experience that. What's her license plate number? I'm finna call the police on her for touching me and for touching my mother's car. You just touched my car, so. You touched me. I pushed you because you was in my way. Call 911. I don't give a damn. I got witnesses. You just came open up my car door. No. Oh my god. Hey! Show me Bro. Oh my god. Frustratingly, our main characters offered no conclusion to this story on their TikTok page, though this driver was almost certainly arrested and charged with various crimes. But one thing we can't figure out is why Jose felt the need to honk his horn so incessantly during the action. Seemed unnecessary. Reddit user ComfortableLock7399 uploaded a video of a harrowing experience they had with a lunatic at a dog-friendly nature reserve called Bandy Field in Richmond, Virginia. While our main characters had their dog leashed and far away from the other area of the nature reserve where dogs are allowed off-leash, this woman had her dog off-leash in that same area. And our main characters claim her dog started harassing them, trying to take their dog's frisbee, and then her owner started screaming at them for over a minute before they pulled their phone out to record. Do you want that to happen? Wow. Get your dog away. Wow. Get it away from me. Play with your dog. I know. Wow, you are such assholes. We don't. Oh my we God, just you want. are such assholes. If you went to the other Get side, dog everybody's dog is off leash. And watch why we're not over there. there. Everybody's why dog. Why we don't go over there. Good. This is not the... Please. This is not the... Hey, we aren't trying to start a fight. We you want are you to them. go away. And no, we want your dog to be I respectful. live here. I we pay taxes. Live... Oh, so do we. Good. Okay, yeah. Can we be friends? I would like to be. We I need will your put dog. her on a leash if we can be friends. We can be friends. Yes. We then can we'll, be then friends. I'll do it. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate that very much. That I like. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate I mean that. It. That I like. Yeah, we just want everybody to be safe. That's that's really it. That that I like. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank Have you. a nice day. You Fascinatingly, the comment section swelled with other people who recognized this woman as a person they themselves had had similar encounters with. This user, for example, recalled that she had her dog off-leash at Reedy Creek this spring and screamed at them as they passed by on a bike to stop because her off-leash dog was bike-aggressive. Another user said that this woman lives in his apartment complex and even linked a video he had recorded a while back of one of his many arguments with her about her unleashed dog, which apparently had a habit of escaping her car, only to start chasing people down and even attacking their dogs. Apparently, this woman's a known local menace. Look at this stupid bitch. <laughs> Do that. Do that, yeah. Do that. Do that. <laughs> Do that! Wow, do that! Look! Woo! If someone... What are we doing to you? What are we doing? We're moving out. You're causing chaos is what you're calling No, we're moving out. 
I'm leaving. Shut up. Get in there, Bobby. Now. Psycho. You're a fucking psycho. You can go You're back in your house. Yourself. You can go back in your We're house. Moving out. Calm down. You're an insane person. Yo, who's the insane person? Literally Look what I had to deal with to wear a whole year because you're shit. Go to therapy. Go to therapy. Go and get help, please. You guys need help. You need help first. Bye. TikTok creator Raul uploaded a video of himself confronting a suspected thief. But not just any old thief, a grave robber who had stolen the solar lights he placed at his recently deceased mother's gravesite in Lancaster, Los Angeles. He says that she's been stealing these lights for over a month, and he was at a loss for how to stop her. One day, he had the clever idea to place air tags on the new solar lights he placed and tracked our grave robber ghoul to the parking lot of a Vallarta supermarket. Okay, I'm gonna report it to the police. Give me my items back. You could get them. I'm not fighting for them. Okay, give them back. Okay, let me know. You that we wouldn't catch you? Okay, I didn't check. No, I didn't. Okay, give me my items back. You could get them. Stop acting like I'm not. Okay. Make them ring, I said. These are mine. Okay, bro. All of these. Oh, and you were the one who stole no, all I of them. I didn't stole nothing, I swear to God. So we had I flipping swear, lights? You could, you could take them. Hey, bring up a lot of Oh, okay, no, so who's your cousin? So who's your cousin? Se llama Maria. Maria, que? Rodriguez. Maria Rodriguez. Okay, so we're. Oh, that one is mine also. There's supposed to be a total of five. TikTok creator Sania was accused of stealing whilst shopping at a Spencer's of all places. And she was so outraged by the accusation that she literally dumped her contents of her purse on the floor and started recording her accuser. I saw you put them in your bag. No, oh, okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll dump my shit. You don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. I'm I'm telling you, I thought I saw you put them in your bag. And you didn't. Okay. So you just stereotyped me. No, I did not. I promise you that. Because you didn't see shit. Okay. I saw you walk over with it, and it was in your hands, and you put them in your bag. Didn't. Okay. I didn't. Then fine. Just show me. Show I'm me. I'm not going to show you my cameras. You can't. That you recorded. You, 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 you want to show me, so you can. So show me that I took something. I saw you put it in your bag. I'm sorry if you didn't, but I'm telling you, I swear... I saw you you can there, then, because I, I want you to be able to do your job. Okay. So let's let's see this. No, it's okay if you did. No, no, I I'm so serious. I swear I saw you did. I'm sorry if you if I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't. Look, look, look. Nothing in this bag. I bought all this shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I saw you put something that was ours in your bag. Did it? I apologize. Don't ever come up to me like that okay. again. I will not. Do you want me to help you pick up your stuff? No. Soap? Okay, there is one to you. Say it again. I'm asking you to leave the store. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Would you mind stepping out of the store with me? For me to ask for something? apology? Yes, you're raising your voice and you're disturbing the other customers. But I'm calm now. Yeah. I'm just asking an apology. You weren't, you weren't just a second ago before you started reporting, so would not mind stepping out with you. We can discuss it further there. So you got two people yep. because she said she saw something when she didn't. Yep. And then she gets to go away and without without anything because she thought she that well she lied because that didn't happen that will be discussed further however further yes why i'm trying to ask Girls. you to step outside please let's so leave discuss it without disturbing other customers. no because she disturbed me when i was just shopping i was looking around aware that's why i want to discuss it away from others no because she did it in front of okay. others this last i'm gonna ask the next time i'm gonna press that trespass from the mall yes i will legally trespass from the sorry. property please step outside mm -hmm. Because if you do not leave, I will call PD and they will escort you. Escort me because I'm asking for an apology? Yes. Because you are now causing a disturbance, I've asked you nicely. Please step, step outside. We can discuss the situation further and get you your apology. Okay. That's all I'm trying so to do. So he's going to ask the man? He's going to go speak with the employee. Yeah. Speak with you outside. Okay. Excuse me. 
So she could come up to me, immediately say I'm stealing, immediately say I'm stealing, around other people, other people stop and stare, watching that scene okay, I, I around me to embarrass me. I'm the only, as you can see, the only person of color in there. She could say that to me and no apology. No, no apology. I can't apologize. No, no, not from you. I asked from her. I mean, I understand. I, I'm sorry. What happened to you is wrong, but I can't control what she. And I told her she was stereotyping me because she didn't see me take so anything. So what I would do is I would file a complaint. With... So I'm supposed to do this with y'all? So no, no, I don't control them. So no, I'm, I'm asking. So you want to file a complaint? Yes. So I would just go down to mall management then and tell them because they're the ones that control. While her entire video series is too long to feature here, she also uploaded her later confrontation with the manager after the cameras were checked, where she admits that they were wrong to accuse her in the first place. The rest can be seen on her profile at Nia with two A's, two, two, one. TikTok user KitKat Idol was minding her business, working her job as security for this apartment complex, when she was approached and confronted by an irate woman who seemed furious that she was trespassing on the complex where she was actively working. Get off the property, you're trespassing. Get off the property, you're trespassing. Get off the property. I've got a manager on their way over here to tell you to leave. Why are you here? You're just here to annoy me. Get off the property. Get off the property. Ma'am, stay out of my bubble. Oh, well, I don't see your bubble, so I don't know what... Oh, bless your heart. Are you one of those sweet don't. people that can't handle anything? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Get off my property. Get off my property. Get off my property. I have a manager in route. Okay. Get off my property. I'll handle your manager. Why are you not getting off the property? You don't live here. You're trespassing. So, I, so I've got your picture and I'm going to have you cited by the San Marcos Police. Thank you. Trespassing is a violation. You have to go to court. <laughs> I'm doing a job. You're not doing a job. You're not hired by us. Get off private property. Get off private property. Get off private property. Get off private property. Okay. Let me just go talk to your supervisor and tell her. Please do. I have the police in route already. Okay. Get off my property, bitch. I hope you got that on film. I do. Bitch. In a follow-up video, she showed this Karen at a distance, talking with the police she had called three times on our worker, doubtlessly having the basic laws explained to her by them on the spot, and then, to make matters worse for her, Donish the Karen Hunter took it upon himself to find this lady, a woman named Deborah Skeens, who actually works as the ambassador of the San Marcos, Texas Chamber of Commerce. Seriously, why are all of these people in positions of government authority? I find that concerning. TikTok user Carol Pink had a shocking encounter with a neighbor recently that hardly anyone has seen yet. She starts recording as a woman rolls up next to her in her car, with her kids in the back, by the way, to accuse her of a laundry list of unneighborly offenses that she says are nonsense. Girl that stays at your house also? Who? What girl? The car. The, the There's lady. no. Girl, I can see it right there. There's no. Where? Show me. The other tweaker lady that. that Nobody. Girl. Nobody's living there. Yes, did, and you kicked Karen's cat. <laughs> I did not kick Karen's yes, cat. Did. Yes, you did. Okay, what else? Yes, you did. You kicked Karen's cat. Mm -hmm. Your homeless friends need to get off of our property. I don't have nobody now living there. Do. So the, um, we're going to start recording them going into your house. How about that? Keep your little tweaker friends off of our property or housing will be known. And guess who else has footage of it? Alexis. Every time they go into your house, Alexis has the footage. Show Nicole housing. This video, Nicole housing our landlord that you have tweaked your friends living on our street and living in your house. And there's footage of it at Alexis's house. So, not just your mama. Oh, do you, do you want me to keep going? Do you want me to also tell when I knocked on your door when your son stomped on my daughter's tablet and shoved my daughter? You forget about that too? I'm waiting. You ain't got nothing to say? No, because you're you're weird. You're a, weird. You're a, weird. You're a, a tweaker. Enough. You got your kids out there all 
and supervise all the time. Whose kids are out there and supervise? Yours. Bitch, your kids over here across the street away from your house. You sound like an idiot. Your kid also <laughs> You're a crazy kid. was at my house. Okay, you come bitch. on. You had no idea where he was when you were walking come in on. the field because you couldn't find him. Let's keep talking. Open and I'm out there with them every time they're outside. Stop harassing me and go. It's not harassing. Yeah, you are. You're just mad that your sign is the one unattended. Guess who else has that footage, Alexis? Weird. Weird. Alexis has all the footage. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no. I don't have nobody living in my house. Oh, my daughter's tablet. I didn't come to your door. Dude, you're oh sending my God. shut my daughter and I didn't come to your door about it? Did I or did I not? That's what I thought. That's irrelevant to what you're talking about. I don't know what the f your problem is with me. Get out the f***ing car. What is your problem? What is your f***ing problem? Get out the car, that's what is your f***ing problem? I'm you're unrecorded right now. You're harassing me. For what? I'm walking my f***ing dog. Who's living Who's here? Who's, Who's being the f***ing crazy one right Can't now? Can you tell me to get out the car? Who's being Tie your dog right up and now? handle it. Tie your mud up and handle it. That's what I thought. Who's scared? Yeah. Who's, who's scared? scared? Okay. Told me to get out the car. Okay. I got out. Who's scary? This whole encounter spans several videos and well over 10 minutes, but the aforementioned woman Alexis shows up in part three of the series and appears to vindicate our main character. I messaged you about it yesterday and it showed you read it. I didn't read anything on that video. Yeah. No, it showed, I will show you on my end. It I'm telling you right now in, the, in our thread, I didn't read shit. No, I believe it now with this going on. Because I, mean, I told you I was going to call her out. I haven't even Why gotten would a chance I? to see her. Why and wouldn't I, I? You're doing all these disrespectful, you and your friends are doing all these disrespectful things. I'm going to say something. It's our community. Why wouldn't I say something? <laughs> oh, wait. Would anybody not say something? Here, look at church. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I messaged you yesterday. I, I didn't read this. My kids had my phone all day yesterday. It shows as red though, right? Yeah. Okay. So I thought you got I do apologize. Because everybody said for the last two weeks, three weeks, it's been you. For weeks, there was the... Everybody said it was you. Vehicle, vehicle. So I do apologize for calling you out your name. Chai, see. Check in. There's a skimmer in this one. That's f***ing up. Yo, y'all teed up. Damn. Do your homework. I'm not paying for that. No, you can't. I bet. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> but y'all was about to take my bread, and you ain't even know. So don't, so don't grab shit that ain't yours. Bro, I don't care, bro. I go to a whole different store. I, you know, you're not about to take freedom. I'll take everything. Okay, cool. What are you talking about? Yo, that's been going on for a while. Stop. And this got the nerve to be on. Like, stop that's playing with me, on. boy. Yeah, I'll tee this whole shit up. Yeah, bitch, you're new to this store. Bitch ass. Bitch ass. I'm a what? Your ass. Why? Because you're a narcissist. I'm a what? Narcissist. Narcissist? Why you say that? Why? Because I'm filming myself? Hey, what's wrong with that? Huh? It's not a critic. I'm advising you. Why are you just saying that? That's rude. Because I have my phone. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I cannot count. I'm sorry. I tell you what Oh, well, mind your business. TikTok user Shay recently recorded a confrontation she got into with one of the employees of a small tailoring business in Phoenix, Arizona, whom she accused of profiling her during an argument about her order. For you to make a racial statement and say someone held you hostage two years ago for the same thing and the same people, what same people? African-American people? 
I didn't hear her say that. That's it. Of course you didn't hear her say it. No, no, no. Don't be getting me involved. She I said it say, verbatim. Her I, exact words were, someone held me hostage. Oh, no, I can Patricia, understand people very some, clearly. Sometimes, so that's No, it wasn't hard I to never, understand. I never say. So you didn't say the same oh people. You didn't say that. People, la, 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 la. No, okay, you're exactly Don't right. say African. Don't say. Oh, no, you didn't American. say that. You okay, said the same okay, no, situation, no, no. same people. So, oh what same God. people? Okay, okay. Oh, you are right. You are right. Oh, I know I am. Yes, I, know yes, 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 yes. I know what I heard, yes, too. I know what I heard, too. You but may please, not have heard please, it, please, but please. I heard it. Stop it. You're wrong, Patricia, and you know it. Language, I think she. No, no, no. What she said was somebody held her hostage two years ago. Same problem, same people. What same people? No, she's, uh, she's inside, but don't touch me, don't nothing. But it, it, yeah, she, be clear about that. I've not touched said, you one time no, you or threatened you. The word. I may, I did the word three, three things for $40 each, but she And said, I paid you. Want to ma yes, she paid me for three, And I told you that they were not, that you did not do it correctly. Right and you told me that you would fix it. more work. No, I don't need I more work. I want you to no. fix what you messed up. Could you hear? Why are you lying? Well, I, 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 a little bit because she low. So what? I'm not threatening oh you, nor God. am I in your face. I'm not by you. I haven't touched you. I haven't threatened you. I've done none of the above. None of the above. Thank you. And it's not that I'll dispute it with my bank. It's just that simple because you did not finish my faha. For you to lie and say that I want more done when you did not correctly do it is insane. I have the text messages. I have the text messages of you saying, bring it back and you'll fix it. So why would you lie to the police and tell them that you didn't charge me? Why would you charge me when you didn't do it correctly? Then, Patricia, again, you told me that it would be done yesterday. It's not. Why won't you be accountable for your work? And we imagine the woman was saying, okay, you're right, sarcastically. I didn't really take that as a real admission of guilt, right? But it does leave us wondering, what exactly did she mean by the same people? Our main character swears she's never met her before in her life. I find out you videotaped my wife. I'll tear that phone right out hey. of Oh, you want to videotape me too? Right, you Stop. little son of a bitch. Get away from here. Jackass. Oh my God. Hey, nobody is videotaping your precious no, wife. Wait, he's a, if it, she's in a public place, he can do that. You have zero expectation of privacy while you're in public. You can't right. assault people. Exactly. So this one is crazy and there's a lot to it so i've saved it for last here tiktok creator southern ohio mopar was visiting a small hotel in upper sandusky ohio called the royalton inn with his wife and seven month old daughter our main character says they arrived very early in the morning about 1 a.m and went to bed immediately after getting into the room but a few hours later when his wife got up to use the bathroom she discovered that the door to the bathroom in their room had been locked and they had no way of getting in so dad heads down to the front desk to get some help, only the sole worker who appears to be in charge of running this hotel and its 56 rooms may actually be one of the most infuriating people we've ever seen. You won't tell me. My room is 121. There are people in 121. My room is 121, correct? Correct, right? Mm -hmm. My bathroom door is locked and you don't have the access key to that, correct? I have a master key. No, for the for the doorknob that is locked. No, I don't. You don't have it. The hall bathroom here is also locked, correct? Yes, it's, it's broke down. It's broke down. That 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 checks out. You don't have access to that door either. No. So currently, I have room one twenty one with no access to any restroom facilities whatsoever. Is that correct? Is that correct? Well, if I have one restroom in my room, sir, and that access to that is locked, then what other room would I have? What other, what other restroom would I have? So you won't give me another room. I'll just call the police. You won't call the owner. 
the police officer they called actually arrives pretty promptly and seems to be in total disbelief like they are at the unbelievable inability of this man to process extremely basic concepts. That's what I'm saying. So It's the other way around. They can't use the restroom and all they want is either a room or somehow to get into the restroom. That's all they want. So my, my husband, he was an ex-police officer. He just had a knee surgery. So he's a contractor mm -hmm. also. They have little like pinhole. He was just explaining to him. I don't have. They have little pinholes. Yeah, that, but you know, I don't think he's. I asked him. I asked him to even look in the office, and he said, "I don't know what's back there," and he just refused to look. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is, if the roles of were reversed, and you had a customer in here that was just refusing to use your bathrooms, or because they couldn't get into their bathroom, they were now just going pee on the floor. You would have us out here removing them from the property. You have to get threatened. If, again, if you don't want them, if he threatened no, you and you want them removed, we can ask them to leave. That's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that they're, but, but I'm you, saying you I would threat, be. A, you threatened me several times. Okay. Do you want them out of, removed from the property? Well, I have to figure out what's going on here. Maybe, maybe not. What's going on here is, again, I can't force you to do nothing. I, I cannot. Okay. I, mean, I understand that. I get that. I, I know what I know, and there's things I don't know. Okay. This is things I don't know. Okay. Like I don't know how a to door? Work. I'm sorry. Like how to open a door? Or just give us another room? You don't know how to do that? Because this is where that conversation started, and just the, the, the confusion and act like you just... You're where the conversation started. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay, well... Okay, yeah, you my, try it. My point is... So let's do two to one. Okay. You want to jump in there? Make it three to one? No. I'm not He's, even. You're I'm taking it mad. personal, but you're taking it. Per we just need another room, buddy. You're taking like we're trying to attack you. Threat. We need another. You're still. You're, I said you're taking it personal. This is ridiculous. This is the most. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this on recording just for the better business. Career. And when I contact the attorney. Okay. General. When we came in here, you gave us a key for the room that we are currently in. So you obviously possess the capability to do so. I am asking that you use the same capability. Hello, I'm talking. I hear you. Okay, well, I'm asking that you give me just another room so that I can use the bathroom and you like won't do it and you won't call the owner. Like, can I call the owner? Like, actually, I don't even want to stay here anymore, but like, I have got to go to the bathroom. Like, I just had a baby seven months ago. I just had a procedure at my work. I work at the hospital. I need to go to the bathroom. And if I have to go, if I have to return to the hospital again, because I was unable to use the bathroom, it is going to be not very pretty because I'm not paying for the procedure and I'm going to be really bad. This is going to turn into a lawsuit really quick. If you just don't give us another room and that's all we're asking is for another room. I'll even go to the goddamn second floor if we have to. But there's a second floor. There's 56 rooms here. There's a second floor. I got a room I can get in. That's, I mean, if that's what you want to do, if that solves the problem, that solves the problem. I can't force you to do anything. That solves their problem. That leaves me with a locked door. Okay. <laughs> it, it left them with a locked door, too. I didn't lock it. Oh, my God. But apparently, they're saying they didn't either. When they walked in the room, it was already locked. That's what the problem is. for five hours. Again, he served, he said he came in at 1 a.m. and went directly to bed. And then they got up to use the restroom and now they can't get in the restroom. It wasn't even that late. It was like 11.30. Okay, even in, even in then, if they came in and went directly to bed. Again, I can't force you to do anything. And I'm, I, I can't. So, but it seems to me that like this could have been solved much similarly and much more easier than me have to come out here. You know what I mean? Like, like with me being threatened, that, that helps to solve it. No, it doesn't. That's what I'm saying. It's that's not. It doesn't. That's you, all I heard for 20 straight minutes. Because you won't give us a room. You still don't have the right to threaten me, sir. I apologize for threatening you. No, it's too late. Oh my God, are we really arguing over somebody's feelings right now? Yep. 
Okay, well, I, I need a hotel, so it, it, I don't know where what hotels are in the vicinity. But we're going to have to go to the Speedway for you to use the bathroom, so we're going to have to wake my seven-month-old son up and pack everything up so she can go use potty. But she's, she can't walk, she's got a potty so bad. And you still won't give us a room. I was working on that. Where are you? It's 17 steps there and back in one of these. You have a master, he has a master key. You have a master key, you won't even lock a door for her to go use the bathroom right now. Unlock what door? Any door, buddy. Any door so she can use the bathroom. An empty one. Oh, what are we talking about? You know exactly what I'm saying. An empty room so she can use the bathroom. Hell, your room. Like you just left to go use the bathroom in your room. I would take your room at this point. She's got to use the bathroom. See, this is a better conversation. You want me to beg you? Is that what you wanted? You wanted me to beg you. I can open a door and let her use the bathroom. I want a room to use the bathroom. Can I get your ID, sir? Can I get yours by chance? My my ID's in my room, but I'll use what's up to Can I meet hers, too, just for a simple report? For sure. We came out here. Can I get your ID, sir? It seems to me that you guys can solve it easily, civilly. If you don't want to have it solved, if you want them to leave, I can ask them to leave. They don't have to leave. And I was gonna get you another one. Okay. All right. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Can I go to the bathroom? Well, he's, 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 he's gonna work on getting us around. No, now. he's not. Yeah. Mopar says in a follow-up video just a couple days ago that they are going to be pursuing civil charges against the hotel over this infuriating incident. They never did get their new room. However, he also admits that after being polite to the man and asking over and over again to get help for his wife, who desperately needed to use the bathroom, and being given a blank stare and a so what, he got so angry that he told the man he was going to beat him up if he didn't start listening. Which is not great, right? It explains why this guy kept saying, oh, they, they threatened me. But also, I think if anyone on earth would make me lose my cool, it's that guy. As an aside, the hotel's phone line now appears to be disconnected, which means the internet did its thing. Okay, that's our show for today. Hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, turn on them noties, and I'll see you soon.